what is up guys i'm back with another daily build video this time it's an a tier build on a countryman by gigawattage let's go real quick before i get into the video i stream every single week on kick and youtube so turn on notifications so you don't miss those streams you guys can come in and race with me on like 95 percent of the streams i do so do that. Also, you can come in and ask me questions about the game if you'd like to. Uh, we usually go live around 9 p.m. All right, let's get into this. All right, so starting out with the stats for this A tier build, we've got 170 top speed. That's a really good top speed for uh, for A tier. Usually that's like an A plus tier top speed for like short track builds. 3.80 to 60, which is great. And 371 horsepower, 362 foot pounds of torque. 12.4 quarter miles so not only does it have a decent 0 to 60 but it's got a great top speed as well so this might be a very well-rounded build let's take it out to the test courses and see what happens all right first up we've got the drain uh the record on this one for me was set by the rsx it's a 145.98 it's a very fast time i've never driven this countryman uh with a track build like this so let's see what happens Wow, the launch is great. Very nice launch. Turning radius seems like it's a little bit stiff. Like it, it might understeer just a little bit. Well, let's see what happens. I think the burst NOS is going to be super key on this, on this build. I'm just going to have to make sure I get it little slippage there but i do have a three burst that i can use unfortunately that slippage caused me to miss out on a three bar on that turn it's all right though it's got good top speed i got a nice little single bar of nurse go nurse a single bar of nos going into this corner which i can use to yes dude things are happening things are happening great right now get that three bar Oh, perfect corner. Also, very nice over curbs. I did not expect that at all. Oh, what a great build. Oh my goodness. I just went straight through that cop. I don't know if that hurt my speed or not. Didn't seem to hurt it. Let's just keep going. Let's see what happens with this time. Let's see what happens. No Yet. Uh oh. If they jump, then we jump Whoa. Higher. Dude, I ran a 47 and I hit that cop like T-boned him. But either way, it runs a 4751 on my very first time driving the car. That means we can definitely optimize the time. We can get it lower than 147. This car is very nice to drive. It does not have those weird characteristics that you get with some of these builds. It actually feels great to drive. It's overall very quick on this corner king type race. And um, yeah, man, I'm surprised. A 147.51 is a great, great time. I think I might be able to get close to that RSX because that RSX is a 145.98. So we're within a, half, a, a second and a half of that car. Um, definitely with some optimizations, we can get there. So anyway, let's take it out to Windy City Sprint. That's going to be my um, test course for speed and see how it does versus the Carrera S, which did it in 119. All right, here we go. Shooting for a 119. Man, the launch is something else with this car. I launched so hard that I couldn't even like farm a single bar of burst from them. I need to get this thing to top speed as soon as possible. Sitting at 135. First only is good on me. We're gonna be burning this now so we can get there. We got a cop here, let's see what we can do. Oh man, the question is do we save this? All right, 147. 
Oh yeah, we're gonna do this. All right, nice corner, no wall, a lot of NOS. I think he's doing pretty good. I don't know if it's gonna be a 119 though. Feels fast, but let's see. Here we go. 119, 21, 22. Yep. That's kind of what I thought would happen on this race. So it's got the top speed stat. It just doesn't have the horsepower to get it there on the short course like that. So that course is a speed course, but it's very short. It's not super long and on the highways. Because of that, you don't have enough time to get the car to full speed unless you have cars to draft. So if you're in multiplayer, I would think you could do a much better time on that course than 122 because you'll have cars to draft that are also trying to go fast with you. Anyways, a 22 is not bad at all. And I think with some optimizations, I don't feel like I got enough luck as far as the like police spawns. Usually you can get a couple of like free two bar bursts from the police, but I don't know if I got enough luck on this particular run, but 12271 still not bad. All right, let's give you the full build. All right, so for the engine, we've got the 276 horsepower, 2.6 liter inline six. And for the parts, a pro induction sport ECU fuel system exhaust and then a pro single turbo and a super nitrous. Then we've got the elite neutral suspension, pro brakes and elite grip tires with an elite clutch, a five speed gearbox and an elite differential, nitrous drift and nitrous grip as your auxiliaries. And then 95% grip on the handling slider, steering sensitivity at zero, downforce at plus five, traction is off and brake tap for the drift entry. The reason this is not at 100 is because it puts you into A+. plus. So, 95%, it is. All right, guys, if you have any questions about this, don't hesitate to send me a DM. I read every single message that comes my way on Instagram, Twitter, and Discord. So reach out to me if you need to. All right, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next Daily Build video. Trigger out.